Hey everyone, this is John and that is Megan. And if you're new to the channel, we sell all kinds of really cool stuff on eBay and we make a bunch of money and we do it full time. So if you watch this video, we're gonna show you 14 items that we sold like over the past 24 hours. And we sold these on eBay for good money. And this is how we feed our family. So if you're interested in learning how to become a better reseller, welcome to the channel. We'll be right back. Catch me howling at the moon Okay, the first items that we sold here are a couple of Oscar Wilde books. One is The Picture of Dorian Gray, and the other one is just a self-titled book. How much did they sell for? 13 plus shipping. Okay, the next item that we sold is down here. I sell every single one of these that we find. Yeah, it's like the third one. Yeah, we've sold more than three. It's probably like the third one this year. But I sold several of those. Um, they're really cool. They are like mid-century modern. And that is really hot right now. They've kind of got like some bake light handles on them. When you open it up, you look inside. That's good. Okay. Hold, hold the side down I thought I saw glue or tape, but maybe not. It might not be. Oh, it could be taped. Anyways, it, is it just got some plastic inside of it. They are really cool. If you find them, pick them up. How much did we sell it for? 20 plus shipping. That's pretty awesome. Especially since you can pick them up like at most thrift stores for like a buck or two. Okay, we've got old tote A1 over here. This inventory is working out pretty good, ain't it, Francis? Yep. Uh, Doc McStuffins. Right here we go. I paid like... Two bucks for that at a Goodwill. I thought it would sell better than what it did, but how much did we get for it? Nine plus shipping. Yeah, I'll take it. Okay, I bought a bunch of these. I bought, this is one of my big buys. I don't always talk about, if I showed the stuff that I did, you guys would probably enjoy the channel a whole lot more, but I bought like a hundred copies of just one DVD and we've been selling the crap out of it. We don't make a lot on it. We do offer free shipping on it. We sell for $6 shipped. We do that to build up our feedback, to keep our feedback level high. It's kind of like what you would call a loss leader to get people into your store and to kind of build up, uh, positive feedback against any type of negative feedback that we would get because we've taken a harder stance on returns and we've got a couple of negative feedback this year and like six neutral feedback because we just won't roll over anymore. Who knew that when you don't roll over and give people things they don't deserve, they get mad at you. But sometimes you got to do that. Okay, so we need three records. Which records do we need? Give me the name of one. Oh, that was right there. How much did that sell for? That one was seven plus shipping. Seven plus shipping. What's the next one? Uh, Nina Simone. This is it right here. The yeah. Nina Simone. How much did it sell for? 25 plus shipping. Ooh, not too bad. There's Aretha. What else and do we need? Smokey Robinson and the Miracles. Oh, yeah. Where's he at? Where's old Smokey Robinson hanging out at? He's here somewhere. Here it is right here. Yeah. And there we go. How much did Smokey sell for? 11 plus shipping. Not too bad. Okay, this is what we use. Megan bought some of these. This is what we use to ship records with. Where did you buy these from? eBay. Got them from eBay. They're about a buck a piece, aren't they? Um, Actually, if you buy more, they're not quite as bad. They're only like 50 cents or less. How many did we buy? I don't remember if it was 25 or 50. 50 probably 50 50 probably i've used a bunch already the record you can fold it up put it in here and it ships really nice in these uh nice little boxes so um if i remember i'll put our supplier down below we don't we don't make any money off of that stuff but we'll put the link to the place that we bought these from if you sell records these are a lifesaver it cuts down the amount of time that it takes to like actually make that box i mean it's worth the 50 cents at least Francis would say so. Yeah. Okay, this is the next item that we sold. If you could put the lid back on that. Um, this is a Bex Hybrids hat. I think I got like 10 bucks plus shipping out of it, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's... I thought that that was going to be a better hat, but it actually ended up eh, just being an okay hat. But we have like 600 hats listed, so I would literally sell every hat for 10 bucks a piece because that'd be good money. Okay, this is the next item that we have here. Uh, my little Health and Beauty Aid brown tote. How much did it sell for? Twenty one fifty free shipping. Twenty one fifty for this cosmetic item. We sell a lot of cosmetics. 
Uh, if you go to salvage grocery stores and if you uh, use BrickSeek at all, I have a video on BrickSeek. It's definitely worth investing the money in. We find a lot of cosmetics that way. Um, we make a ton of money off that stuff. So just keep following us and we will keep showing you how to make that money. Uh, is this it right here? Netgear ProSafe 8 port desktop switch? Mm -hmm. There we go. How much did it sell for? 25 plus shipping. 25 plus shipping. And I think I picked these up at like a Goodwill or something for a couple bucks. A buck or two. Uh, neat stuff about this. Or neat, the neat thing about items like this are factory sealed. If you're in your Goodwill, all you have to do is just scan that barcode with your eBay or your Amazon app. And... They will tell you how much it's worth. And if the price on the shelf is lower than the price that it sells for, that. Did you know that's how you make money, Francis? Mm -hmm. She knew. So now you know too. Okay, guys. The next item that we have here is this nice little Porsche of the Motor City. I don't know. It's brand new with tags. And we sold it for $20 plus shipping. So it's really weird that the Porsche hat... And this hat, if you'd have told me which one of these would have sold more, I would have figured that one, but I would have been wrong because it was that one. Okay, that brass horse sold. How cool is that? How much did it sell for? $12 plus shipping. $12 plus shipping. Would you have imagined that something little like that would have sold for $12? Oh, look who we got. We got Monsters Incorporated, Sully, in his birthday outfit. He is super cool. He's one of my favorite plushies to sell. And if you find him, you will sell him all the time. He sells really well. Actually, we had him for a little bit, but like, you know, he's still pretty cool. How much did he go for? 14 plus shipping. Not too bad. Say bye, Sully. I have a video on my channel and I talk on my video about taking speakers apart. I had a set of Kenwood speakers and they were the big kind, like the real big, big speakers. And I actually took all of these speakers out we sold one and we just sold these four these four of these tweeters here if you want to grab those other two right there we still have two two of the bigger mid-range two of the smaller mid-range and one of the real small tweeters right there i don't know if these are exactly tweeters but they look like it um, I probably had five bucks in both sets of those speakers. I sold the one big speaker for 20 something dollars and these just sold today. These, <laughs> you're like, look at, look how close his face is to the camera. These just sold today for how much? $64 plus shipping. And I still have all of those speakers over there to still sell. And they're real easy. If you want to list one of these speakers, all you have to do is take the screws out. And then on the back, it's going to tell you Kenwood. It's going to give you all the numbers and everything that you're going to need to list that speaker. And a lot of people, if you go to auctions and yard sales, they'll pass this stuff up because they go, how in the world am I going to ship these? And you're right. A lot of times it's really difficult to ship them. But I will tell you, there are instances to where... Not taking them apart, you can make a ton of money. I've got a set of JBLs upstairs, and those are awesome. And those speakers, brand new, like in better shape than what I've got them, they're 1200 bucks. So you can list those on Facebook Marketplace and make a ton of money. But we just shipped a set of speakers, didn't we? Um, those, what were they? I can't remember the name of them, but they had walnut cabinets. Oh, yeah, I can't remember the name of them, but they came in the original box. I paid two bucks for them, and they were small. They were about the size of this brown crate right here, and they already had boxes, and we shipped those, and we made $400 off of them. But sometimes, you, if you, if you want to go through the process of shipping the speaker, you can do that. Or if you want to part it out, sometimes there's just as much money in doing it that way. That was two minutes of speaker education. I do have another video on selling speakers. Uh, it's on my YouTube channel. You can go search for it. It's definitely worth watching because I make, let's just say, one week on between Facebook Marketplace and eBay, I, I, made, I made like six grand. So electronics are your friend. She's watching me because she wants to, we're going to go eat Mexican and we're going to go eat Mexican. And I keep I'm talking. To get my boxes. She's wanting to get, is that, is that everything? That's everything. Oh, okay. So that's everything. So that's cool. I'm going to get out of her way so she can get all of her boxes. Okay, guys, I'm going to show you some of the really cool stuff that we bought today. We had to go to Farmington. So we go up there to do whatever we have to do. I always go to the antique mall and try to find some stuff. 
And today I found something really cool. I found this steam clam. It's a three-tiered pot. It's got the, the corn on the top. It's got your lobster, your steam clams, and then your clam broth. And that thing is really awesome. I paid 40 bucks for that. I seen it and I go, that's gotta be worth more than 40 bucks. And found out that they sell for somewhere in the neighborhood of $200 on eBay. So that's really awesome. The next item that I found here, I found 10 boxes of this on guard. It's flea and tick medicine. It was originally 12 bucks at the uh, dog pound where they have a thrift shop, but we picked up all 10 boxes for four bucks. That's not too bad because they sell for about $27 a box. So even after shipping and everything, we're still probably gonna make somewhere between $150 and $175 on that bind. It was only 40 bucks. The next item that we have here is a bunch of tape that I found. Uh, five bucks a roll, or five bucks a sleeve, and I got one, two, three, four of them. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six. So six, 12, 18, 24 rolls of tape for $20. I don't know if that's a really good deal, but to me it was, so I went on and bought it. So let me know down below. If you've got a cheaper place to buy tape, I would love to know. Okay, the next item that I picked up here are these really awesome copper coasters with the cork bottoms, or the cork uh, where you set your glass at. I uh, paid like a couple bucks for those. Halloween is here, so I always try to find the cool Halloween stuff. I got that really awesome cat Halloween bucket. I got this really cool bucket. <laughs> and then I picked up some of these. Uh, these are actually, from what I was told, that that's like a chocolate, I don't know, chocolate chocolate stir i'm not sure it's really cool i paid a couple bucks for those i found these vintage um trays i thought these are really cool these are definitely 80s and i bought them uh they are really neat i got two of them i paid a buck a piece and they are super awesome and then the last item that i got it was actually at the same place but it was not with those it wasn't sold with those but this is a corn pot which i thought was really neat um yeah that's I paid, I paid 15 bucks for that and i paid 45 for that and i think i'll make really good money on all this stuff now let me know is this the kind of stuff that you would have bought or would you have passed any of this up um I know that people uh, buy different stuff, but one of the reasons why I buy the stuff that I buy is because where I live. We live in a place that's kind of economically depressed. We don't live in a major city. We resell full time in the country. We live in a town of about 4,000 people. And in this town, uh, there's not a lot of opportunity to make money and people don't really just give stuff away. But we've learned how to cut out a niche for ourselves, and we do really well. I'm not gonna break my arm, pat myself on the back, but we are not going hungry. Um, let me know, would you have bought this stuff? Anything here that you wouldn't have bought? Uh, let me know down below, really appreciate it. I'll be right back. I don't know if you guys can see the rainbow over there, but that's super cool. That's neat, I love rainbows. Rainbows are awesome. Special delivery. I'm just a big, I'm just a big kid. Here's a couple items that I did buy. I went to an auction yesterday and I bought this aluminum radiator for um, my pickup truck. I'm going to take it and have it tested, make sure that it's in good shape, where if there's any holes in it, they can patch it up. And then I did pick up the other day, uh, I, these are called pigs. I picked up a pig of 409A and a 132 or 123 or whatever that is up there. And those are Freon. Freon can bring really good money. You can't really ship it, but what I like to do is I will take a picture of that 409A, I will list it on Facebook Marketplace and it's worth about $400, but I'll list it for three, and somebody that does heating and cooling will actually come, and they will probably buy that because you can't get that 409A anymore, and for systems that are outdated, they can charge, they can charge a ton to put that in um, because it's just, you can't find it anymore, so that's pretty cool. Uh, you gotta think outside of the box. To be successful and to make a ton of money, if you can specialize, like that's so cool. I'm so happy for you. If you can just sell video games or toys or like glassware or whatever. But me, I have had to learn how to adapt to my environment and I sell a little bit of everything, which 
makes it really good. So when I go somewhere and there's like a lot of really good stuff, I can pack out. I've packed out this old poor, this old poor, this old poor Yukon. I've had this thing for, I've had this thing for 10 years and I've packed it out multiple times. This Yukon has made me thousands of dollars. The old headliners falling out of it. Air conditioner don't even work anymore, but I have probably made a hundred thousand dollars out of this car. Here's a couple more weird things that I bought. I bought this Burger King clearance sign. I did get a couple of cigarette signs, but they don't sell that well anymore. But they're still pretty cool. I put them back in my garage. Maybe they'll be worth something someday. Francis is carrying this stuff up out of the basement. And we did score a bunch of these school trays. These actually do amazingly well. I picked up these k and air filters at the auction, or uh, oil filters at the auction the other day. I thought they might have fit my Corvette, but they don't. But they still sell for about 30 bucks for two of them. And I only paid $10 for them. These Frams, they're pretty much garbage. They'll just go to the trash because nobody really uses them on their cars. And here's some more stuff I picked up here. I picked up a bunch of stuff in here and it is all uh, for a dark room. You always gotta be looking for deals. You always gotta be looking like what can sell for something. This actually had a barcode on it, scanned it. This is all dark room chemicals film nice high quality film it's too cool. i know it is ain't it see she don't get excited about much but this is all dark room and then i got this for megan because you never know what you never know what's coming down the pike i got these patch panels too and these are all for like a buick regal and i paid i want to say ten dollars for these at auction this one sells for a hundred and these sell for about 80 bucks a piece so eight sixteen $260. Would you have bought this at the auction or would you have passed it up? Super easy to look up. It's got the item number on it. It's going to be super easy to ship. Easy. And then the last item that I picked up the other day was actually a humidifier. I paid 50 bucks for that. It sells for about 150 and um, I think I'll make pretty good money on it. Um, this is how we do it. This is how we do it day in and day out. It's how we make all of our money. So that's all I have to say today. We're done with the video. So you guys have a good day. Say goodbye, Francis. Bye, Francis.